Today, I'm gonna talk about why you should probably just chill. Welcome to Life as Usual, a video blog series designed to make you a more impactful leader through the ideas of execution, direction, and self-awareness. And today I want to talk about why you should probably just chill. I want to talk about rest. And more importantly, intentional rest. We live in a culture where you're beloved. We live in a culture where you're beloved if you work hard, if you're constantly at the grindstone. In the last industry I was in, people were rewarded for being there seven to seven or seven to nine. People that were there, never took a break, ate lunch at their desk. These are some of the least creative people I've ever had the pleasure of working with. You want to know who were the most creative? There was, there was an executive at my last job that you couldn't find this guy during lunch. He'd be out always with friends or taking somebody else to going to restaurants. You'd never see him go to the cafeteria and just pick up a blade. Not only was he always out to lunch, and I always saw him doing things during lunch. After work, he knew where all the spots were, from New York to Brooklyn to wherever. And this guy was one of the most creative, brightest people at the job, an executive. Meanwhile, there are people in cubicles working. And I, I asked him one day, I, was, I asked, like, why do you do that? And he told me that his best ideas come while watching somebody play giant steps at the Blue Note. And they come a lot better than when he's sitting in his cubicle staring at a computer. And the idea, what I got from that was how important rest was, especially intentional rest. Taking time out your day to make sure you're away from the action to let your mind recover and figure things out. I'll give you another example. You ever sit in the shower and your latest idea just pops in your head? Well, it came because you were resting. You weren't sitting at the computer waiting for inspiration to happen. You were in the shower. Or another example, you ever take a nap and wake up and all of a sudden the answer is very clear? for a complex problem, or go on vacation for a couple days, and when you get back to work, you suddenly know everything about everything. That's what intentional rest does. It gives our brain the time to catch up and to think about the problems that we have without stressing. So I'm gonna offer you a challenge. First, I'm gonna ask, when are there intentional breaks in your day? Do you have anything scheduled to where you get away and just let your mind run and wander? And if so, when? And how do you do it? If you don't, try to figure out ways to where you can keep up appearances but build those times in your day. See if you can find a way to make intentional rest a part of your calendar. Now, for some places, this is very hard, um, especially the place that I last worked. And one of the tricks I used was I created fake calendars in my Outlook. This works very well if you tie one or two other people in with you. You guys can make a fake meeting to discuss paperwork and use that time to get away. Focus on intentional rest today so you can have the creative outbreak that propels you tomorrow. Tell me how you got intentional rest. Or, even more fun, tell me if you used my fake meeting trick. So send me an email and tell me how your intentional rest went and how you spent your time resting, whether you took a nap or took a walk or a million other things. I'm curious. Let me know. And I'll see you next time.